Happy Fool Happy Fool It's your girl Sasha Laurel and welcome to another exciting episode of Happy Foods 2, 4, 2 and we are out east. This is going to be another sweet show finally. Finally we're doing a show with Shiva. Let's go check them out. All right so we're here with Melissa Darbo. She's the co-owner of Shiver. And Melissa, just tell us a little bit about the business, when you guys started, um, yeah, just okay. information like okay. that. Okay, we started about six years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we got, uh, well I got a, for my birthday present, I got a tabletop ice cream maker. Okay. Because I always loved ice cream. Mm -hmm. And we practiced with that and we used to make ice cream for, every Friday we used to have like a little barbecue with the cousins. Mm -hmm. And so like, we made it and everyone's like, oh y'all should really do something with this. And so for Valentine's Day, I got that big machine okay. <laughs> and then we started making um, batches mm -hmm. but what we started with was just given to like schools when they had fun days and things like okay. that we just so started, started testing with it. ice cream I'm not no, we sorry. started with we started with gelato actually but then we okay. found that the gelato um, melted too quickly okay so then we switched from gelato and we tried everything champagne every kind of thing mm -hmm. liquid rum and until i saw some um tamarind pulp one day and i was just like hmm, let me i want you to put this in the machine and try it mm -hmm. and then we tried it and it was so good we were like okay well let's work with the fruits mm -hmm. and that's how we got into sorbet, sorbet. so okay. sorbet wasn't our intention we just oh, wow. accidentally fell upon it because everything else didn't seem to work now, six years is equivalent to how many flavors now? Um, we have. Hmm. We, we, we could do anything, really. Okay. Like, <laughs> but the main, let's but the main, the main flavors, flavors we have, uh -huh. we came down to five, what we call our power five. That's okay. the mango, the passion fruit, a tropical, which is mango, passion fruit, and pineapple. That's my favorite. And then soursop and tamarind. Okay. But we started off with 10 in food stores. Okay. But we had to cut back because we saw some were slower moving. And so we didn't want them to stay on the shelves that long. So we okay. just pulled back to the ones that were moving more quickly. Who are some of your main distributors where people can go and actually pick, purchase the shiver? Well, um, as soon as COVID stops mm -hmm. <laughs> and everything gets back up and running, mm -hmm. well, Super Value is our main person. Okay. Um, Fun Foods is our distributor. Okay. And we're in, right now we're in smaller school, um, food stores. So we're in Centerville Food Store, okay. we're in ABBA, okay. we're in Phoenix, we're in Kennett's, okay. and we're in a lot of corner stores community, and, those and, and delis. That's people good. we call the underserved market mm -hmm. because those are people who wanted freezers so they want to sell ice cream, but they weren't up on the list high enough to get a complimentary freezer from anyone else. So now, I let's say I'm having an event, I'm having a birthday party, funeral. Who knows? I, I may be having any kind of thing. Do you guys cater specifically to events? Um, we don't cater, but we I don't know if we drop off. Okay. So we would make so arrangements you, uh, with you, okay. let us know what time you're setting up, and mm -hmm. we um, make sure that you have enough frozen storage space, and then we drop it off. So we do weddings, because the single serving are good for like little, at yeah, the, the yeah. desserts at, mm -hmm. um, at weddings and birthday parties and stuff like that. And we do signature ones too, because we had a party and they wanted something with some rum in it. So we did oh, the okay. tropical flavor with um, vodka. Oh wow, so, that's interesting. Thing again, it was, everyone was like, oh, this is so smooth. We were like, yeah. <laughs> So that's a perfect segue. Give us all of your information. How can people reach you if they want to reach you, if they want to sell in their store, an email, all your social media information. Give that out so we can put that, we'll put Ooh. it right here. Oh, okay, okay. So our website is shiversorbet.com. Shiver We're on Sorbet. Facebook okay. as Shiver Ice Cream. Mm -hmm. um, we are on Instagram as Shiver Bahamas. We're on Twitter as Shiver Bahamas. Our email is Shiver Bahamas um, at Hotmail. Mm -hmm. And the best way to get us is WhatsApp, 467-0319. Say that number again, slowly. 467-0319. All right, so you all heard Melissa give out all the important <laughs> information, website, number, email. It's no reason for you not to reach out. You can get it. You can get them <laughs> by some hook or crook, all right? You all know what I like to say. This is not a talking show, it's an eating show. Next segment, we got on. 
Stay tuned, you're watching Happy Foods 2, 4, Stay tuned to more Happy Foods 242 after these messages. All right, so welcome back. You're still watching Happy Foods 242. You still here with Melissa, and Melissa is going to take us through the process. You normally you wouldn't get to see this, but because of Happy Foods 242, you're going to get to see this. So we have sour sauce and, and tamarind. tamarind. Now, you were explaining before COVID. Before COVID, we would run about 10 buckets of these. Okay. So right now we're just doing a two pound batch of soursop and a mm -hmm. two pound batch of tamarind. Normally we run eight pounds, which would give us about 120 units, so about three gallons of sorbet. Okay. So right now we're just doing the soursop. We usually start from the lightest flavor and go up to the, the heaviest, heaviest flavor. flavor. So we normally do, we'll do soursop, then mango, then tropical, then passion. Mm -hmm. Is that to preserve tamarind. like the like why do you do it like that? Um because we don't want to the flavors um mix. we don't want the yeah, we don't ah. want the flavors mix. We try to keep all the flavors um pure. And with the batch machine you don't have to rinse until the end of the time. The process. Okay. Yeah, because okay, the, that makes sense. The barrel is frozen and yeah, all right. keep so everything that's... going. So this is simple. So you get this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so right now, now our sorbet is organic. It's just cane sugar water and fruit okay. we don't put any preservatives in it which oh, is, is to already. our disadvantage a little bit because it's not protected with shock value for traveling and everything mm. else but then it gives other people the advantage of who don't want preservatives you know in right. their body right so you could just mix that up so this is just that's just sour salt cane sugar and water okay. and it's all about getting um like a syrupy con uh, a syrupy consistency so that it's able to freeze now if you put a uh, formula into the machine and it doesn't have enough sugar it's not going to spin it's, it can actually cause oh, your blades okay. to break oh wow um, and if you have too much sugar in it it's not going to freeze okay so you have to get we can we have a little secret thing that we found out that you do so we have something that you drop in it and it if it sinks to the bottom it's not the right if it rises all the way it's it's not right and it has to be half covered and half uncovered I like how and you then <laughs> Everybody you know likes to put, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have that, and then, if that, and then that tells you if it's the right consistency um, to be able to blend. Okay. I think. Now, some people use corn syrup and other stuff in it, but um, we don't like our corn syrup. Yeah, you, you rather <laughs> do it the So we just, yeah, we just want to go with the, just the basics. And actually, people, some people have been people tell us, oh, use the agave sugar, use this sugar. But actually, those um, have their downfalls oh, as well. Okay. And then we found out that the body actually, would, people say, oh, use the um, alternative to sugar for diabetics. But the body actually can still detect those artificial sugars as sugar. Mm. So it's kind of a, you're, you're, you're really telling an untruth to yourself. Right, so that's right. why we try to just keep everything with the real, as real to nature as can be. Okay. All right, so we go from here and we go to our batch machine. Okay. And we're gonna pour this in. This has already been sanitized and rinsed out. Okay. So this is only gonna take us about maybe 15 to 20 minutes to start. So you pour that in there. I have to turn on the water because this is a water-cooled machine, not an air-cooled machine. Okay. So I'm gonna turn on the water over the compressor because if you don't have water on the compressor, it's gonna overheat. And we've already done that twice for COVID. <laughs> it's pretty noisy. That's gonna be about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. You'll be able to see inside when it gets um, more firm. You'll be able to see and it'll start to heat. Now this here tells you how firm you want it. So normally for, for I've been running ice cream all week, so that's why I was on 12 for, the, okay. for a longer cycle. But for this amount, the sorbet will probably just run it on a fork. And that's, you said that's the thickness. Yeah, that's how thick it'll be. If I do it down to two, it'll give you more like a slushy consistency. Okay. And the higher the number, the firmer it'll get. Yeah. Okay. So that sends, on with, okay, in here is a board. So that'll send the message to tell the compressor when to shut off, when it gets a certain amount of um, consistency. Okay. And inside it has some blades, and that's what's actually making the sorbet. There's some blades in there um, that's pressing and freezing it along the barrel. Okay. Now that's the difference between this machine and our new machine here, which is the, this is a continuous freezer. So this one, how this has an end point, when you put the sorbet in, when you put the mix in this one, it freezes down a column. 
so it starts at the beginning and freezes straight down and then just pushes it out all the time. So you're cool. going to have to wait until it's finished. So it'll okay. be freezing almost automatically and it'll come out here. It comes in from here. So by the so, time this show airs, they'll be working with new machinery. Because really this, I'm like, right now that machine, the maximum that can do is three gallons. This does 300 liters. 300. And we have two of those. Okay. Yeah, so we'll be times 10. You'll be, you know, doing okay. upgrade times 10. Y'all know I don't know numbers. So. Well, we don't know numbers. No, I just plenty. say times 10. Calculate it. Plenty. Plenty. <laughs> plenty. Plenty. Yeah, plenty. So that's okay. what we're aiming towards. Um, so I, I, let me go. We'll take you a tour. Okay. Okay, let me show you the starting point of the new equipment. All right. So this here is a dry mix table. So this is where you would put like your powdered sugar, any dry ingredients, it would go down in here. And then that comes out and connects to your first agitator, which is like your first mixer. So this now goes to this, which is your pasteurizer. So, so it'll all come, everything here will be suctioned in uh, and to come into here. Okay. You can put your wet stuff in here, put your dry stuff in here and it'll all start to mix inside here. If you, if you want to see, this has a huge blade. Huge blade and stuff in there, so that'll mix. Once it comes, it spends its time there mixing, it'll come through here, which is the pasteurizer, which is going to heat it up to a certain temperature and then cool it back down. So now all of these are run by equipment we have out in the back. Okay. Okay, so that's your pasteurizer. Now, what's the importance of a pasteurizer? You shouldn't be able to take um, food to market that's not pasteurized. That's one of the drawbacks with us that we're trying to work with with using um, fully local fruit because we need a means to pasteurize it to make it safe. Okay. So that's okay. the thing. So with this, we'll be able to incorporate more local things because we'll be able to have the, um, the method to pasteurize. Okay. Now this is a homogenizer. So what this does is presses. It's just like a big press. So you know sometimes you get ice cream or something has the lumps in it? Yeah. yeah so this will press everything and get everything to a fine consistency and then it goes into these two holding tanks. So this can actually hold it for like two days and it's refrigerated. Oh wow. So okay. if you wanna say if you wanna put and the reason we have two is because you could mix one here and like say this is mango, then you could shut off these valves, you could mix another one and hold it in here, say that was up. I was gonna ask yes. you to do more than one yeah, flavor. Yeah you could do more time. than one flavor. And then all you do is now this is the part we didn't figure out yet. We have tubing. So you have to connect this down to here to the inlet for the continuous machine and then this because see you can hand you the continuous machine you can um cup from here right but we don't want to do that because we have this baby here which is like this is one i can't wait on because okay. this will fill the cup, lift the cup and everything okay. just so all we have to do is use probably the in here. yeah the cups will we'll load them up in these cups and lids now, I don't remember if it's lids and cups or cups and lids. Cups and lids you put down in here. And then it automatically shoots the cups into these. The ice cream comes in through this one or the sorbet, and then it lids itself. And so you then, know what I mean, right? You have to come back. Yeah, you have to come back. To you have to come back to see this. This is the part I'm most excited about just to see how this goes. In and another then, season or two, we'll come yeah, back. Yeah, we should be ready in about a year. I, and a year, it should be humming. Um, and then I it goes to convey the Yeah, beeping so that's ready. Okay. And then we just have the case. And that's that. All right. Just a little batch. So see these the blades here I'm talking about that this uses. Now the other machine would have metal blades uh -huh. and instead of it being this big wide it'll be a narrow column. So you've and done then, all of your mass production from here? From one one machine. Wow. Lots of work. I was just one machine. say like. Yeah that's why people say oh we don't get our order yet. That's it's why. Coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. So we do if we work all um like say from five in the morning until like seven in the night we could do like 1500 to 1200 units wow. if we just stay on our feet 
but then you can't do it, like you can't work two, three days in a row right. at that same pace. Right. All right, so now we'll scoop a little. Sorry, let me turn off the water. So this is the end know. product. That's the end product right there. And then you just, oh, simple. you just, yeah, that's why I said nothing much to it. Mm -hmm. You just, the hardest part was coming up with the formula and to get the right amount of fruit to the minor, right amount of sugar to the right amount of water. That's the hardest. And what we like about this is that, let me get some cups. Um, see, that part is simple. It's like so many other things in the process that made it difficult, like getting to this cup. Okay. This took us a while because first we had, this is our first cup, a little a generic cup. Okay. So what we would have to do every day before a batch, we would have to sit down and physically put, put the flavor label. on it. Label. So we'd have to go and put the barcode on each one okay. and the flavor on each one every time okay. for each cup. So right now, so what we saw, besides that being time consuming, um, people were raffling through, rifling through storage trying to see where's the mango where's the salsa because everything looks the same so i said okay we need this yeah, color coded color coded so that's how come we got to these bright colored cups okay. i said because it has to be easy for kids um they're not gonna you know some of them not reading yet but they know yeah. i like the green one and yeah, they see the I picture like, uh, of the sour sop and so they get that and they even love by love to associate <laughs> by color yeah so what i said cup you want no i don't want grape <laughs> i want the purple one yeah, right so i'm gonna put you in charge a little Okay. So right there is our lids. All right, let's see what we can do. So this and this is how we really started with hand scooping before we got our first um, filling machine. Just hand scooping. And you do this relatively quick. Yeah. So it's just one scoop. Just one scoop. This is a four ounce cup, which is mm -hmm. a one, one scoop. And our pints would be like four scoops. So they're 16 ounces. So this is actually the healthy, perfect serving. Four scoops. So four I, should, I should eat this in one sitting? That should be your serving, yes. Okay. I just, <laughs> the, I just pint not, the pint should not be your serving. Okay. <laughs> But what I found actually no, is that big the, with the sorbet is fine with the smalls because I found our main um, target audience, females, working females, because they're the ones who buy the stuff for the house. Okay. They like these because they could um, throw them in the freezer and the kids could just, just grab pull it. pull them, yeah. Rather than freezer. having to monitor, scooping, scooping out, it and right. everything, they could just go and how the spoon is in the lid, mm -hmm. you know, it's easy. How, how long does, like, once I put this in my freezer, this will last a forever? Year. A, year. a year. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that. It'll though. last a year. And that's without preservatives. So people cook with these? So, cook. Have you found, like, um, incorporating them they, into recipes? Yes, actually, I think there, um, there was some people at, at UB, in okay. the culinary, they were using the sorbet to do things. Okay. And um, I haven't seen any other people come out to me and say that they were using it. But I know people use it in their drinks. Because okay. I have some friends that she said, mm, I oh, always put yeah. that sauce up inside. Yeah, that would I be good with like some champagne drink. or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but my favorite is guava, which well, is not the I've popular had favorite. I like anything yellow. I like pineapple, mango, Anything yellow, passion okay. fruit, definitely. Oh, okay. Oh, you a tart yeah. one. Okay, yeah, like I, like, tart, I like sweetened. Okay. Yeah, tangy. All right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, my favorite is the guava. And before guava, my favorite was lemon. So none okay. of my favorites ever made it to the chopping block. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's saying about me. Well, yeah, but everybody have their yeah, favorites. Got to shout out my good friend, <laughs> Kendria. She made this possible all the way in Brylin. If it wasn't for the show, is it gonna happen? <laughs> Thanks, Kendria. So let's do the process of mixing our tamarind. Okay. We'll put it in there. We'll show you, you know, show you some of it churning. And then when we come back after the break, I'll be eating some sour soft sorbet and tamarind <laughs> sorbet. And I'm sure I'm gonna like the sour soft more though. All right, so. I have some cheesecake ice cream in there too for you to try. Ooh, some hard stuff? Some cheesecake ice cream. My From favorite milk? thing ever really? in the whole wide world is cheesecake. Oh, okay, it's lemon and with a little bit of strawberry pieces in it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so let's, let's, mix, let's mix up our tamarind. <laughs> we'll put it in the 
Um, put it in the machine, and then we'll go to a break. Stay tuned. You're watching Happy Food. Two, four. Did you miss most of this week's show? Make sure to visit our YouTube channel to see everything from Happy Foods at Happy Foods Bahamas. Alright, welcome back. You're still watching Happy Foods 242. Two. We're still here with Melissa and I am going to taste the fruits of our labor. So I'll start with the sour stock. Now we told you about the spoon already. I, I just think that that's an awesome idea. Melissa's already Melissa just eaten away her tamarind. <laughs> oh yeah. Woo! This is right here. It tastes like like happiness, like just happiness in a cup. <laughs> but this is definitely sour sauce. People like sour sauce. Mm -hmm. I gotta stop eating it. It's so good. And it's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. Does the canned sugar help with that? As opposed to just using regular sugar? Um, well, some things have like a, a higher sweetness and gives you like a, a artificial um, sweetness. Mm. So this kind of just I'm going to put my cover back Brings on my room because I'm taking this. Natural. Now, tamarind. Y'all don't judge me. I'm not a, a <laughs> fan of tamarind per no, se. No, tamarind people are tamarind people. I'll tell like you Like how people are say, Jesus, I need a bag of tamarind. Like, die me. I'll eat it if I get it. But, like, I'm not a... Y'all don't judge me. <laughs> it has, like, a sweet and a sour... Mm -hmm. It's so, that's clearly your favorite. Cause yeah. you're killing yeah, that yeah, over yeah. there. <laughs> Melissa, yeah. anyway, let me give you something. I can drink this as a juice. <laughs> let me give you something constructive to do, Melissa. <laughs> Tell us, give us all the information people need to reach you again. So all your social media information, a number, your website, and I think you gave us the email address already. Okay, too. so the email is shiverbahamas at hotmail.com. We're on Facebook as Shiver Ice Cream. You can also find us um, Shiva Bahamas on Instagram, on Twitter, Shiva Bahamas. Um, WhatsApp is connected to our Instagram and Facebook and everything. That is 467-0319. 467-0319. And if you have a store, if you want to sell it from your house, if you have a family get together, wedding, shower, anything, you want to mix it with some drinks, fine. Just give us a call and we'll get you some. Melissa, make it happen. <laughs> Now, Melissa, you also did a little special. Yes. Melissa, I'm going to see in my head because everybody <laughs> knows that one of my favorite things in life is cheesecake. Tell me a little mm. bit about this. Okay, so I was given some organic milk and asked to do something with it. Okay. So this is what I did. So we made some cheesecake. I did a, a cheesecake, a lemon cheesecake. I put some strawberry pieces in it and some graham cracker crust. Mix in there too. Now this is this is ice cream. That is this ice is cream with organic milk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, no preservatives. Blah blah blah. This is good. So we're working on that. This is good. So the ice cream isn't out fully as yet. So that'll be we'll be launching that with the plant but if i want ice cream you could request i could requ request ice yeah cream. you could request ice cream so candy probably gonna have those details right here again okay. call email you gave us the social media information yeah, again too um facebook is um shiva ice cream twitter and instagram shiva bahamas and the whatsapp numbers are on all of those sites and we have website shiva sorbet.com now they are going to be expanding, like we showed y'all all the equipment by the time the show comes on 2021, Melissa will be up and running, y'all heard all of it. Make sure you go to your favorite whatever, your favorite food store, your favorite community store. If they don't have up, it, ask them to start carrying it. Right, and pick up sugar. <laughs> the sour sauce was good, the tamarind was good, even though I'm not a fan, uh, a big fan of tamarind, it still was good. And 
I mean, you could have one. I, I kind of try to work <laughs> on my body a little bit. So I shouldn't really be eating this. Uh -huh. But I mean, you, everything in moderation, they yeah. say. And each one of these is less, the sorbet is less than 100 calories, each one. So okay. it's a little treat. You could so, do a couple jumping jacks and that's gone. All right. So <laughs> Some personal burpees. trainer, you heard that? <laughs> what, less than 100 calories. Yeah. So guys, make sure to support. You know, in this season, we really trying to support Bahamian businesses. Get out there, purchase the shiver, or call Mel Melissa to make it happen. She will drive from east to west. I remember one day when I went, she, she drove from east to west to come to me. So if you call her, she will make it happen I'll by her, her crook. Melissa, I want us to end the show together. So you need to put that cup oh, down. Okay. <gasps> you gotta do the fingers with me. You just watch another exciting episode of Happy Foods. Two, four, two. Just for you, happy food. Two for two, food galore just for you.